Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's topic is very important and interesting. This is for the CC 3.2 welding inspector. The practical exam there is there. That exam is for the you will give one drawing to you, and you have to find out the all the joint welding joint, and you have to write the joint details and the configuration all these things. So uh, this is very interesting. You should know the before if you attend the CC 3.2 welding inspector. So those people still not. Uh, subscribe my channel please subscribe to get the this type of interesting video also let's start i will explain to you one by one now this is the fabrication drawing interpretation remember in the cc 3.2 seminar welding inspector examination you are required to interpret a fabrication drawing and comment on the welding symbol so you need to check the one drawing interpret the Welding as a welding point of view, as a welding inspector, where are the welding joints are there? You need to check. And if there is a symbol, comment if you think so. You need to give the comment on the welding symbols if you think it's not right. So the question, it will be time will be allowed one hour. The drawing will contain around 15 to 20 symbols are will be there. So 15 to 20 symbols are will be there. You need to check every weld symbol and you have to mark there. So drawing and interpretation. This is the actual the uh, what you have to need to do. You have to check the drawing and after you have to find the old symbol and you have to interpret that old symbol. So with the supply drawing, you were required to carry out the following. So reference the drawing number onto your answer sheet. So answer sheet, your answer sheet, the check the drawing number reference would be there. Specify the standard to which the welding symbol apply. So you have to standard. We have to apply which standard. So we have to write there in the answer sheet. Produce a neat neat sketch on of how you see the welds, numbering each weld individually. That's I will I will show you how you have to sketch the every weld symbol. Fully describe each weld symbol. Example: welded arrow side single V but welded other side single filling run so you have to mention like this way as per the joint configuration on complete completion of the welding symbol interpretation you are then required to comment on the drawings with reference to errors and incorrect setup if you think after finish the all drawing if you think some of the need you have to comment for this particular world symbol so you can write in the comment sheet in the answer sheet there is a comment for the particular which symbols now let's start so you understand in the answer sheet what should be in there so now what in the answer sheet how you have to explain how you have to interpret like this now this one is a drawing you see the drawing how many joint is there i already clearly mark here one two three four five six total 20 joint is there one you see here the one means this joint this joint so what is this joint so you have to interpret this joint and you have to write in the next page see in the answer sheet you see here one one what is this welded all way around six mm leg length fillet weld and side weld peripheral weld so you have to write in the answer sheet like this way what is this you see weld this is this is the all around overlay or all, all around you see all around weld. this is called all around weld you see also what is the 6 mm leg length so 6 mm leg length is the all around weld now if it is mentioned it is not mentioned that the uh, how much fillet is you see here that is not mentioned in the how much so you have to understand the 6 mm fillet is the minimum requirement so this is the you have to write the 6 mm fillet now you see welded both sides if you go the two you see two this is this is the welded both side 8 mm fillet well and 8 mm fillet well so this is the welding for both side peripheral weld weld to be welded all around to the part you see here this is welding this is welding this is welding this is welding so 8 mm fillet well so the symbol is like this this is the symbol so you have to explain the symbol like this way if you see the three where is the three three is here you see this joint configuration they will be the they will give this configuration so how you have to write this configuration you see here 
one is the welded aerocyte 10 mm leg length fillet oil this is the 10 mm and another is the welded another side single j but with an 8 mm leg length so single j this is the single j and this is the 8 mm leg length after welding ut inspection to be carried out so why you see here mention the ut so this is the arrow side this is the j and after that there is the fillet and this is the 8 mm and this is the 10 mm and the after inspection you have to do the ut so this you have to explain like this way you have to write in your answer sheet so you see 4 4 is here this is the 4 10 into 80 what is this this is fillet so you have to understand you have to know this one as for the bs 499 part 2 this is the 10 mm fillet oil what is this this is the 10 mm fillet oil and 8 mm leg length 8 mm leg length you see here the mention the 8 mm leg length 8 mm leg length so 10 mm fillet 8 mm leg length the length of each weld is 80 mm you see the 80 mm the distance between each weld is 80 mm so how it's mentioned here say 10 into 80 10 into 80 the bracket in the bracket it is 80 so it is the 10 mm fillet oil 8 mm you see 10 mm fillet 8 mm leg length it is and the 80 mm is the 80 is the length and there is the intermediate 80 is the, there is no welding so this is you have to sketch like this way and you have to explain this welding welded arrow side now the five five if you see the five this is the five you see the five here this is the 16 this is 16 this is b this is b so what is this how we have to weld here so you can see here the five is like this welded both size 16 mm leg length so this leg length is 16 mm fillet weld fillet weld to large for the parent material thickness so like this type of joint so this is the welding and this is the welding so this is the 16 mm leg length fillet weld so if you go the six 36 this is the six so this is the b10 a8 so how what is what type of joint welding joint is here you see here welded arrow side fillet weld is 8 mm throat thickness this is 8 mm throat thickness and the 10 mm with the leg length so 10 mm look leg length is what is this 10 is b and 8 is a 8 equal to leg length, fillet you see here 8 mm the fillet weld and the welded to be welded all around the no this is not this is not this is six a fillet oil 8 mm throat thickness and the 10 mm leg length so this is the six so if you see seven seven what is how it is mentioned here seven is this one the seven so this is you see single b and this is the flush so they are run for reinforcement they are doing the flush grinding so you have to write like this way welded arrow side single b bell bar oil plus finish so this is the joint configuration so you have to sketch this type of drawing now see 8 8 is this is the 8 you see 2 into 270 in the bracket is 390 this is the 8 so what is this you see here how the joint is look like welded arrow side two plug weld is there two plug welds is there slot within slot width is 8 mm so slot width is 8 mm two plug weld this is the weld this is the weld length of each weld is 270 from here to here it is 270 gap between each weld is 390 so this total meaning of this joint is like this and you have to sketch now 9 if you go the 9 where is the 9 9 is here you see if it is see this type of this type with the single uh, only the uh fillet joint the empty so nine is what is this you see here nine is the welded arrow side there is a six mm fillet oil you see six mm fillet oil after welding you have to do the empty empty you have to do so this is the question nine the figure number nine so question nine. now the ten you see here ten ten is you see the there is a v group the flash so you see here 10 
10 is the single bevel bar to well flat finish profile so this is single bevel bar to well the flat please flat plus profile flat plus profile so 11 you see the 11 you see how it looks like 11 11 you see here this is one side v and other side is the v so how its joints looks like you see 11 welded is arrow side square bar to well convex profile so square bar to well convex profile welded is other side is 6 mm leg length fillet well so one is for the so which one the just discuss is the 11 so 11 you see here the 11 11 is this one one side is the fillet well and other side is the single b group so square bar 12 convex profile another is the 6 mm leg length fillet well the 12 if you go the 12 how it looks like 12 is the joint configuration this one you see here this is the fillet well after that there is a welding i think this is uh, the 12 you see here 8 mm leg length fillet well concave profile so welded arrow side the 12 is the welded arrow side 8 mm leg length fillet well concave profile 13 if you go 13 let's see 13 13 is you see here this is the joint configuration this is the joint configuration how it looks like 13 13 is welded arrow side baking run oil flat so this is the arrow side baking run oil flat this is the flat welding baking run and welded is other side single pivot tool. this is the single pivot tool. so you have to configure this cage and you have to write like this way 14 is you see here 14 14 is this one one side is the you see here the fillet welding one side is the square bar definitely you see 14 now you see one side is the square bar well flat finish another is the 8 mm leg length fillet weld so this is the two different one is the bar well one side another is the 8 mm leg length fillet weld so 15 now we'll go 15 if you see the 15 see this is the joint configuration this is the different types of so you, you should know this joint configuration if you go the 15 what is mentioned welded arrow side the single u bar to well flat plus finish so this is single u bar to well flat plus finish this is 15 so this is single u bar to well 16 if you go the 16 now what is the 16 16 is here you see 16 is here this joint configuration so how we have to configure 16 is welded other side is single b up b bar well. so welded other side single b bar well welded using the mag welding process so this is mentioned you see here the mag 16 it's mentioned here the mag welding process you see here 195 something is it so means the mag welding 191 195 is different so 195 is the mag welding process you see here 16 so if you go the now 17 you see 17 is here this is the very simple fillet weld only 17 is the 8 mm leg length fillet weld welded arrow side so arrow side that is the 8 mm leg length fillet weld so you have to very carefully mention the arrow side 18 now we'll go 18 18 you see here this is the different types of configuration so how it looks like in the configuration you see welded all way around surfacing weld hard facing this is called the surfacing weld hard facing weld b2 indicates specific instruction b2 if you mention if there is mention the b2 means there is a specific instruction is there you have to check in the engineering or drawing now we'll go 19 19 you see here where is the 19 19 is here you see 19 19 is here you can see the 19 now show 19 what is there 19 is a single single part oil part oil welded other side is 6 mm leg length fillet weld so one side is the single bevel bar to weld another is the 6 mm leg length fillet weld so this is the 19 sketch and the last one is 20
you see here the 20 this is the 20 one is the 8 one is the 12 so one side is the 8 mm leg length another is side is the 12 mm leg length so you see 12 mm leg length fillet well one side and the other side is the 8 mm leg length fillet well note leg length too large for material thickness so leg length too large for material thickness so this is you know for 1 to 20 the joint configuration each joint sketch how it looks like is very important for the who is doing to CSU 3.2.2 also it is very important those are working as a welding inspector welding engineer or the construction engineer this is very helpful for them also I think uh, anybody have any question query feedback you can let me know in the comment box in the YouTube so I can clarify to you so thanks a lot for watching the video please share and subscribe to get the more updates you will get updates like this type of video so it will be very helpful for them thanks a lot